Hey, in this video, I'll show you the best free Amazon product research tools, and I'll also show you how you can better leverage them for your own Amazon product research. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because some of you asked me for some free product research tools and hacks. So they are in this video and enjoy. So welcome to my computer and welcome to amazon.com. We're not gonna be searching for products with completely free tools, right, that require no money from you. And we're gonna deep dive into some tools. I'm gonna show you some Chrome extensions. I'm gonna show you some websites and some cool stuff. But before we continue, let me tell you that generally, if you want better results with creating your listing, with getting more sales eventually, you will have to invest in tools, all right? I'm saying invest because that's purely an investment. And you will need that because usually, no matter how good the tool is, and tools can give you really a lot of stuff for free, or actually all of their tools for completely free, Still, if you want to use it for a longer time and to dive, deep, uh, dive deeper, you have to pay, right? But we're going to use free stuff. So let's see how we do it. Let's start from Amazon.com first. And let's start by simply using the search bar on Amazon. Let me show you why it's so strong. Let's type in fishing, right? Let's start it with fishing, right? For example, we're interested in fishing or we just uh, want to know stuff about fishing, find products in fishing, right? So what happens here? We type in fishing, we do space, all right? And Amazon will give us some keywords related to phishing. Now, what you can see is probably something you're asking yourself, like, what are these numbers, Vova? So this is a plugin called Keywords Everywhere. And it's a free stuff. It's free to use. And let me tell you why it's good. Keywords Everywhere is going to scrape data and going to show it up in Amazon and at some other websites. And it's going to appear really uh, in a comfortable way. So once you're searching for something, you're going to have the keywords. Let me show you the website of Keywords Everywhere. Um, well, that's the website, uh, keywordsero.com, search volume, cost per click, competition data on 16 websites, useful for intern marketers. Guys, it's a really good thing, like it's completely free for Firefox and for Chrome. And these are the websites that it works with. For me, it's pretty good because there's Amazon YouTube, which I do both. Also, Answer the Public is a nice website. We're not going to go through it today, but maybe I'll cover it in one of the videos, but you can check it out. Uh, keyword shitter is also interesting for keyword research. Lots of stuff, guys, here. But just so you know, it's free and it's going to give you some good data. But let me show you how to use it on Amazon. So for example, right, we typed in phishing. So what? We have some random numbers, right? But what, what I do here is, uh, well, generally, before we even dive deep into the keywords everywhere, a, a nice way to search for products is, for example, giving the big keyword, phishing, and then typing in, for example, Q, right? So Q is going to give you all the suggestions that Amazon initially gives you. Uh, for Q, so Fishing Quick Not Too Pro, Fishing Quick Connect, Fishing Quilt, Quick Snaps, right? And for example, we do Fishing W, right? Fishing Weights, Wire, Waders, Weight Sinkers, Worms, right? And if we do, for example, W and we add A, and then we're going to have everything that Fishing W, A. So Fishing Waders, Fishing Waders for Men with Boots, Fishing Waders for Men, all right? So that's the way you can use the keywords everywhere. But how do we use it here? So for example, if we do Fishing, uh, w, right? So we have fishing weights, wire, waders, and we have the keywords here. Now, the amount. Now, the search volume here is a bit different from, uh, for example, from what you're going to see in Helium 10, for example, what I use for, um, so to say, validating keyword, um, you know, uh, keyword searches per month. But what's nice in here, once you uh, look for it, is it's going to give you the bigger keywords. Like, you can understand that fishing waders is looked for. It's 80,000. And for example, Fishing wire queer for crafts does not show much uh, keywords. So that means that it's, it's much lower keyword, lower volume. So what I can do is once I'm searching through Amazon with the free keywords ever plugin, I can see some initial data. And that's easier for me to understand if it's good or not. So for example, fishing worms for bass has less um, searches per month than fishing waders. Let's go to fishing waders and see what that's all about. So fishing waders is, uh, so to say, fishing, uh, you know, gear for, uh, for fishermen, right? In order to, I believe, again, as I mentioned in one of the videos before, I'm not a big uh, dude in fishing. I'm not strong in fishing. But then um, it, it's, it's a product for fishermen, right? It has different, uh, you know, it, it comes with boots here, as we saw before. Also, I think in the keyword suggestions, it was waders with boots. So now we've gotten to this keyword, right? All right, we found it with the keywords everywhere, all right? We see that it has some volume to it, or at least through keywords everywhere. Now, what do we do next? Next, we're going to use another free tool, which is the X-Ray by Helium 10. And let me take you for a second before we start using to Helium 10, and I'll show you why all Helium 10 is actually free. So we go to uh, helium10.com slash tools. I'm going to link it in the description down below as well. As well, I'm going to link the uh, keywords everywhere and all the other things. 
so you can see them and enjoy them. And, and then, so essentially you can get a, a free Helium 10 account, right? And you just go to Helium 10 slash tools, uh, get your free account. I'm gonna link it down in the description. And there's the overview here. Of course, you can see everything that they give you. And I have many videos. I'm gonna link up here actually a playlist on Helium 10, all right, where you can see all of my videos about Helium 10 or if you download or have X-ray, black box, many things. I go, I'm gonna think, go eventually through all the tools because I've been using it for like a few years and they're pretty good. And yeah, that's the, uh, the, the page here. So we go to pricing, all right? That's pricing for Helium 10. And look at this, we have the free plan on the left here. And the free plan actually has all the tools inside, right? You don't need to pay a dime, all right? You just sign in for the free plan and you enjoy it. Now, the free plan is a bit limited, of course. For example, the black box searches uh, for the Amazon product research is limited to 20 users per month. Or the X-ray that we're gonna use soon uh, for the uh, waiters has 50 users per month. But for somebody who just began or somebody who wants to touch and try the software, guys, this is like, uh, I don't know if any other software gives you uh, free access to all the tools, like without uh, paying, right? And it's up to you if you wanna continue to a diamond plan or elite plan or platinum plans, right? It's up to you, but you can just easily start for free. <laughs> So uh, what I would suggest you is I'm gonna link the description, uh, link it, the leave the link in the description down below. You can go and check it out. Of course, if you ever want to continue for the paid plan, I'm gonna also uh, leave a coupons, leave coupons there which you can use. It's gonna be Vova 10 and Vova 50 for, um, so to say, for getting 50% off your first month or getting 10% off every month. For those who want to purchase Helium 10, um, you know, for example, for uh, you know for a deeper keyword research, for deeper Amazon uh, business running, because uh, yeah, it has more tools, but start from the free guys, enjoy. Now let's go back to Amazon, and we have the phishing waiters. So right, we've gotten into this keyword, we see all the products, what do we do? How do we use this Amazon, uh, well, how do we use the Helium 10 X-ray? So we click on it. It, is, uh, it, is a, it comes as a Chrome extension, and what it's gonna do is gonna scrape all the products from page number one, into, uh, so to say, into X-Ray here. And we're gonna see all the ASINs here, all the brand names, all the titles of the products, which category is it in, does it have the buy box or not, who has the buy box. We're gonna see prices, FBA fees, how many sales it makes, all right, per month. And here we see, uh, you know, from, starting from the most sales and going down, down, down with others, all the revenues, how much each listing makes per month in revenue. Right, and you can have the, uh, you have the success score here, which is kind of like the way Helium 10 you, uh, tells you uh, if it's a good product or not, the higher it is, the better. I don't really rely on that, but it's a good way to initially understand products. Sometimes you're gonna have half a star product and you're gonna see lots of competition there, all right? And we have BSRs here, uh, ratings, review counts, all right? Now there's gonna be a video linked up here about this extension, the X-Ray, specifically this, where I deep dive into products, like I really analyze them like really deeply. And you can check it out later on. It's a pretty good 53 minutes video. Um, but I, I don't wanna deep dive here because I just wanna show you how the tools work like on the surface here so you take them uh, and use them well, on your own. But again, it shows you, it, like it scrapes all the data again from page number one, from this page specifically. You can do it on page number two as well. You can do it inside the listing. X-Ray is pretty good, the Amazon product research. All right, and use it guys, it's free. You have 50 users per month if you use the free plan. So just play with it, go to different listings, see what sales listings have, what kind of revenues, what kind of bestseller ranks they have, what kind of rating there. And let me just tell you like from looking at this, like just like, you know, from, from a glance, like it seems that this, uh, how you say, uh, this um, niche is pretty much selling well, you know? Like there are not that many, there, I mean, I would say there are many listings that have uh, pretty low amount of reviews, but pretty good uh, sales. Of course, we don't only look at reviews, there's much more to look at. We need to look uh, on different pages, see what go, what's going on on different pages, how many competitors there are, like there's much to look at, but then still with somebody would, like below 100 reviews, people make like more than 10K here freely and that's pretty nice. So uh, with the X-ray, you can see what, what, what's going on with the product and you can scrape the data off Amazon, which is pretty awesome. Now, for example, we see the fishing waders. What's the next tool we're gonna use in order to understand seasonality, right? So you can actually understand seasonality with Helium 10 as well because they have it built in, but I'm gonna show you Google Trends because that's also something pretty good 
And Google Trends, again, is Google, right? It's showing you stats for Google, but usually it's pretty accurate for Amazon as well. So let's go to Google Trends, which is googletrends.com, or you can just, uh, so say trends.google.com, but you can uh, just type in Google, like Google Trends. And let's look for phishing waiters. And let me do this. So what you're gonna do in, 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 in uh, Google Trends, you're gonna choose the country you're looking at, you're looking for the product at. So for example, we're gonna get the results here for United States. So if we're looking at amazon.com, for the past five years, or you have like the oldest one is 2004 until present, all right? And we have all categories, all right? You can go deep here, but let's just leave it so. We have web search, we also have YouTube, Google shopping, but let's just leave it at web search. All right, and what we have here is the interest over time, okay? And we don't really, so to say, 30, uh, 56, I'm not exactly sure like what is the name of these data points, but again, uh, the lower it goes, the worse it is. So, for example, this product, the Fishing Waiters, as you can see, in the past few years, is actually going up, the trend is going up. So let's take it like past five years, all right? And you see, it's kind of going up, like the trend itself, and, but what we do is uh, we wanna understand seasonality with Google Trends, all right? And not just seasonality, also if the product is, uh, so to say, if the product is, um, is alive or is it dying, is it dying off on, on pace of time. And sometimes you'll see crazy things, like if you type in fidget spinner, all right, you're gonna see like, pew, crazy, crazy spike in April 2017, for those who remember, and then pew, spike down and yeah. But what also we can do is if it's fishing waiters is a big keyword, right? It's fishing waiters. If we do something like this, if we delete the waiters here, we just stick in with fishing. Look at this, look what we see. We see that fishing in the United States <laughs> from 2004 until present is kind of a seasonal thing, right? But it doesn't completely die because sometimes you'll see seasonality that is hardcore and you're gonna see like, for example, uh, the peak interest is gonna be in, for example, here is June, you see June, July, uh, so it's June, the peak, right, for the fishing. I guess it's too hot to fish in August, I'm not sure, because it kind of falls down. But it definitely falls down in the winter. You see November, like December, March, there's like, uh, I believe, uh, winter fishing, not a big fisherman here at all, but just uh, speculating. But then, we can see that fishing itself is pretty um, seasonal, right? <laughs> I mean, that, that would be right. Of course, there are some um, uh, parts of the states where they fish differently, where there's sun in the winter, you know what I mean? But then generally around the states, that's the trend of fishing. Of course, for fishing waders, it's a bit different because uh, maybe the waders themselves are still bought during January and stuff, but fishing goes down. You gotta understand that probably you will have a little bit less, um, so to say, sales during the winter. You can also check it on uh, on Amazon. Like if you go to, for example, Fishing Waders, we can take an ASIN, let's take this ASIN, for example, and we can check on the listing itself because the Chrome extension also gives you this little addition here, all right, under the bullets and stuff. We can see all the history of the product, all right? So we go into the ASIN, well, which is the uh, cool Fishing Waders. Let's just see it for a second. Yeah, you see, that looks cool. Like, it, it looks pretty pretty good quality. I mean, that seems uh, so for me. But then we have the history of the ASIN, right? We're gonna see, again, there's the extra video I've linked before because, uh, um, so to say, I dive deep inside each part, 53 minute video. But here we can see like uh, the sales trend. So for example, we're starting on the 10th of the 5th, 10th of May, 2018, like a year plus he started. And we can see his sales, all right? When the sales got better, when the sales are not that better. And actually, we don't really see that much of seasonality here. Well, actually, yeah, it kind of gets up more in January and falls closer to April. Maybe that was an out of stock. No, that was not out of stock probably, or maybe it is. But we can't like really see hardcore seasonality here. Like he was selling pretty well in the summer and actually much better in, the, in September. <laughs> So, but then uh, it's kind of hard to understand the, the uh, trend here, but in terms of seasonality, it seems fine, all right? Just as an example, right? Again, there's a huge video about how to dive inside this uh, in detail. All right, that's Fishing Waiters, and that's Google Trends, guys, right? You can go for short keywords, for longer keywords, see what it's all about, and understand your product a bit deeper. And then validate on Amazon as well. You can take a uh, history of an old ASIN that's selling in the same niche and understand, like, what is it all about? Like, where does his sales go up? Sometimes you'll actually see like 
um, you know, when it's seasonal, it goes up, you know, the BSR graph, uh, the, it's gonna go up here instead of going down. And when the sales are good, it's gonna go down and it's gonna go like this, all right? It's gonna go like this and that's gonna show you seasonality. For example, if it's a summer product, the, uh, the spike up is gonna be in the winter because the best seller rank is gonna go up in the winter, the sales are gonna be lower in the winter, therefore the BSR climbs up. And that's about uh, a Google Trends. Next thing we do is we go to yasif.com. <laughs> and what is yasif.com? Let me show you. So we have yasif.com. It's a really uh, old stuff by Andrei Kascha, uh, as I can see here. I'm not sure who this dude is, but he made a really cool website. And uh, what we do here, we go to yasif.com. We choose all here, all right? You gotta choose all and type in fishing waders. We just copy it, fishing waders. Uh, Yasif is a product um, visualization tool. All right, so let me just uh, search for it, let it load for a second. Uh, let me just uh, do the captcha here. Let me show you something cool. Before, uh, now let it load here. Uh, you're gonna love Yasif, Yasif, I think. I go back to, uh, to Google Trends. One more thing I forgot to tell you. Look at this, um, you can search by region here as well, but also there's some cool thing called related queries. So this is something that Mm, is related to this search term, but then it's also on uh, on breakout, for example. I mean, it's like it's it's rising. You see, you can see rising, you can see top. It's related keywords. So you can understand that there's chest waders, waders for fly fishing. Here you can get extra keywords, ideas for keywords, extra ideas for products, all right? And just uh, extra, yeah, extra ideas for products. You see Walmart, right? Bass Pro Waders, Patagonia. I think that's just the names of uh, companies, right? Patagonia. Fishing waders, Amazon, right? Neoprene, that's, uh, that can be a keyword that is used for the material or for your product research, you're gonna know that, oh, neoprene is good for waders. You understand what I'm saying, guys? So this is also a nice place to understand your product research deeper. Yeah, that's related queries. And there's related topics as well. Well, that's, uh, that's a bit different. That can be like, uh, as you can see, about a retail company, fishing rod, uh, so to say Patagonia, which is probably connected to fishing, right? Fishing, real sports gear. All right, that's more the related topics connected, but it's hunting, you know, connected to fishing. You can also see some interesting things here, but related queries is pretty good as well. And regions as well, because uh, for example, if people are uh, searching for it in Alaska, right? And uh, I don't know, uh, you see it's different here in Alaska. You can see, you can understand like, where is the seasonality for Alaska, right? In Alaska, as you can see, the seasonality is pretty strong, all right? You can see that, uh, so to say, during the, uh, uh, where is that? December and February times, nobody fishes, like it's pretty cold there in Alaska, right? So just as an example of, uh, of how you can play with the Google Trends, back to Yasser. <laughs> You're probably like, what the hell? What are these things? And uh, let's see what's going on. So let me explain you a thing or two about Yasif. Yasif.com is gonna give you the frequently bought together uh, <laughs> kind of thing of Amazon, but it will connect it really deep. I don't know how he built this, but, well, I don't know how they built Helium 10 as well, but <laughs> people know some good stuff and thank you people. Um, so, uh, and what essentially happens is we can see what is usually bought together with what, and we can uh, therefore determine niche as, right? So for example, let's go with to the fishing waders, right? These are the waders. And we can see that usually fishing waders are really much bought with, uh, with fishing waders boots hanger, All right? There's a boots hanger for fishing uh, waders, boots hanger, adjustable wader, boots strap belt hanger. Oh, that somehow supports the, <laughs> the waders, right? I believe, uh, let's just find something else I don't really understand. Oh, here's one for kids, all right? So that's uh, waders for age, you see? So why do we need Yasef? Why is Yasef so good? Yasef is good because uh, we can understand like what is connected to the niche, like what are other products in the niche if we wanna expand the niche, all right? Or if we wanna just find re relevant products that we might like. So for example, we have the stainless steel fishing swivels here, all right, for your fishing, again. Um, you have the hats here, all right, which is connected to fishing. This is uh, Wait, this is waders, but it's like more of a lifestyle image there, right? There's bait, all right, for fishing. And in this way, you can determine niches and like pretty much see what's going on inside each niche. Guys, a very powerful tool and it's completely free, like all the others. This, is, this video is all about free tools, as you remember. 
And if you like it, please like it. Please like this video. It's helping with engagement and all the stuff. You see, I'm pretty excited recording these videos. I forget about asking all the likes and join my Facebook group and all this because I really get caught inside the video. I need to fix that because, well, uh, uh, I need to, uh, <laughs> to, to grow as well. But guys, it's pretty cool. So you see, it, uh, Yasef connects you to different products around the niche. So for example, this is a set, fly fishing tools, right? And this way you can deep dive into niches, right? There's fishing, right? But there's fly fishing, all right? Just so you understand. And fly fishing might have different products, right? And uh, connected to it. And this is just like, we started with what? With the uh, waders, right? From the waders, as you can see from the fishing waders, we found this, uh, all this huge list that Yasef put out to us. You see, you have the uh, taper leader, uh, for fly fishing, right? This is more of fly fishing probably corner or not. And you can see like the bird's eye view of the stuff as you can see here. And you can, uh, for, for example, you can um, zoom in and here what do we have? Oh, we have uh, it's a person inflatable boat. There's a boat here, right? And what do we need for the boat? Uh, well, we, what was connected to the boat? Well, we have a kayak paddle boat uh, oars, right? And you see in this way, um, we can again understand niches and we can find products. So what we can do is just take this or you see like, uh, it was a pretty big one, right? But, but then still you can try, um, you take the keyword here, like pedal boat oars or boat oars. You go to Amazon, you check for it, you see what's going on on Amazon, you put in the, you, uh, you turn on the X-ray and you see what's going on there. Pretty cool, right? And uh, yeah, that's pretty much Yasev. Like play with it guys. It's, uh, everything is gonna be linked down in the description. I'm gonna link down keywords everywhere, helium 10. Um, I'm gonna link oh, amazon.com is fine. You know this one, right? Uh, Google Trends and Yasev. Now, please check out this playlist over here. This is my Amazon product research playlist. There you're gonna find videos that are gonna help you find better products and find products that are gonna make you more money. So please check it out now. Thank you a lot for watching today. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you like my content. Thank you a lot. See you in my next one.